online media is is reporting on this GPSing the homes of every single American within 40 feet. If you can't see that they're putting together a control grid right now, you must be blind. Yeah, and you know what? I've got to send some. I've got to send some uh, some kudos out to some folks that deserve it right here in Oklahoma. You talked about how some of this stuff was fought and kicked out of this Give Act. You know what? What little could be done? But right here in Oklahoma, we had a guy, Randy Brogdon, Senator State Senator Randy Brogdon, who's running on the show yesterday. Challenge, huh? Had him on the show yesterday. Yeah. He actually had a concurrent resolution uh, when he was basically these guys went for sovereignty. It passed through the House and the Senate and then was vetoed by the governor. But he ran a concurrent resolution, which is now in the process of going through. But continue. Yes, yeah, and I just wanted to you know let let folks know that there are people, there are people out there that are fighting this stuff, and and hopefully they can take courage in that and they can take hope in that and see that it's not all one way, it's not all the other side. And the more these people will show up and help us, the more people will show because Randy, Randy's taken on the establishment too. You know, they had their candidate for 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 governor all picked out, a bailout voter no less, right? Mm -hmm. And. You think he's going to get any help? But no, he's not going to get any help because he's challenging the establishment. He he fought tooth and nail against uh, uh, HR uh, 43, which is the state house resolution, which was going to give um, uh, it was going to uh, give access to all of our biometric data through these these uh, what are they centers? Um, fusion centers. Fusion centers, and he got he good in, got up in the Senate and blocked that. Mm -hmm. Good and, you know, we him. have some other people out there like Michelle Backman who tried to introduce legislation that would ban a world currency. It's a little too late now that the G20 went through, even though we had Geithner, Bernanke up on stage saying, oh, we're not going to go with a global currency. <laughs> then Obama gets asked about, oh, we'd never glo go with a global currency. Then right out of the G20, they say, well, the IMF is going to start issuing trillions of dollars. But it's not going to be in dollars. It's going to be these new special drawing rights units, SDR mm -hmm. units. And then Gordon Brown gets up on the world stage and says it's all about an emerging new world order i mean again people need to start paying attention and understand that we have to step up to the plate we can't just be armchair quarterbacks we can't all just have radio shows and make movies some of us are going to have to run for office and that's why campaign for liberty is great and i encourage you to go to rjharris2010.com right now and donate because this man needs to be elected more on the other side it's the info warrior with jason burmis prisonplanet.tv infowars.com if you believe in redemption, come and take it from another dimension. If you believe in redemption, come and take it from another dimension. If you believe in redemption, come and take it from another dimension. If you believe in redemption, come and take it from another dimension. And folks, if we want redemption, we have to take it into our own hands. We have to stop what's going on. We have to reverse the process. And it really is up to us. And that is why Campaign for Liberty has been targeted in these documents. That's why Ron Paul has been targeted in these documents. That's why the Patriot Movement has been targeted in these documents. The alternative media, people that are making a difference. And if you want to make a difference, I encourage you right now to go to rjharris2010.com. And donate. Uh, I think they're uh, up around $8,000 right now. The goal is twenty five k. We need to get this man elected. And RJ, I mean, why don't you just tell people some of the positions that, that you're running on? I mean, this is a guy that can come and help us bring the truth to the masses. Go ahead. Well, one of the, uh, one of the biggest issues that I'm running on is to stop all socialism. The 13th Amendment does not allow socialism. It, it, you know, I've, I've made the argument that socialism is slavery because both of those things attempt to control your wealth, your, your labor through force. You know, it takes from you and you have no choice. And, uh, you know, when you have somebody that's being sold on the auction block as a slave, they know they're a slave. But this incremental socialism creeps up on you gradually over the decades. You wake up one day slaves in the land that, your, that our fathers have founded. And so it's, it's even worse. It's even more insidious. So that's, that's probably one of my biggest positions. But, I mean, you know, you want to talk about uh, um, uh, m monetary policy. You know, the, uh, the current monetary policy is basically forcing our state in, into, you know, illegal activity. Mm -hmm. Clearly, it states in Article 1, Section 8, what type of monetary su system we're supposed to have. And that the states are supposed to transact their business in gold and silver. And when they're not doing that, they're breaking the law. And, you know, and especially since... The goal, the, the 
the Federal Reserve note was taken off the gold standard, there is no, there's not even a vestige left. Of, there's not even a pretend left that that's what's going on. So in all of our states, all 50 states, transacting their big business outside of the Constitution every time they take in fees. But you know what else I wanted to tell the folks at home is something they can get involved in right now, today, something they can do to help. There's this young man down in, in, in Lawton, Oklahoma. His name is Jacob Broker. He's an upstanding young man. Um, he's in the Army down there. He started this website, 912candidates.org. And, and this is just one example of ways people can get involved. His, his, his idea is to contact candidates, contact legislatures, excuse me, legislators, and get them to sign off on this contract committed to constitutional conservative values and principles. Now, I know that's not the be-all, end-all solution, but it's a great start, and it's an activism that people can get involved in to try to get these candidates and these uh, politicians nailed down and committed to constitutional conservative values. Also, retakethecongress.com has just started up. And I love this website. They're basically going to try to bring all of these candidates like myself together in a central place so that way all of the people out there, your listeners and all the, all the citizens across the country can find us in one place and find out who their district uh, candidate is, who's challenging their establishment candidate. And, and it's going to be a nice you know, way to connect everybody together. I love it. So, you know, here's some examples of grassroots activism at work. Absolutely. And you know what? We need more people like yourself. And we need you to win, literally. I mean, we need, and if you don't win, we are hoping that you'll run again. I mean, when they're arresting Alan Keyes at Notre Dame for exercising his free speech, when people are going to protest Scientology and they're 400 yards away, and one of the guys is thrown on the ground immediately and arrested, and the other's threatened or with arrest. When we have a Congressman King on the floor saying that we need mandatory drug testing for all American citizens, something has gone terribly awry in this country, and we have to change it. And we have to do so from the inside. We can't just sit here and cry and say, oh, Congress is bad, the government's bad. Of course they're bad. But what we want is a government for and by the people again. And in order to do that, we need to become the government once more. The website is rjharris2010.com. In the last 30 seconds, what do you got for me, RJ? The last thing I would say is what we're seeing right now is what happens when you give a government just unparalleled access to money and to power. When you let them just print up all the money they want, this is what they can do. They can, they can hire police forces. They can have standing armies that have, you know, that are, you know, no size to them. And they can do whatever they want. You know, they can stamp on your liberty because they have access, unequaled access to this power through this, through this printing of money. So that's what we got to put a stop to. Absolutely. It's rjharris2010.com. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back on the other side taking your calls. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis. <laughs>